You know, we didn't know what uh, proximity was at the time. You know, we were just traveling and we've been walking for a while and we needed to stop, kind of recharge. We were all a little stressed out. Jesus was particularly stressed out, which was weird to us because he didn't really show that kind of stuff. I mean, he was generally pretty cool. And, um, so we stopped and we rested and recharged and he really wanted to go spend time in prayer and, and be with the Father. And so we were like, hey, okay, you go pray, you do you, we'll keep watch and, and we'll look out for you because we knew that, we knew that he had been being fallen. Honestly, more like being hunted. Um, so as he went and prayed and we kept watch, you know, we began to get tired and fall asleep. You know, sometimes you can't help it, it just comes. And so we fell asleep and he came back and he found us and he woke us up and he ended up doing this three times. Three times we fell asleep. It would be different if it was just one, but you know, and on the third time we we knew. We knew what we had done and as he began to even talk to us before he could really say anything, he saw, he saw them coming for him and, and he saw who, who betrayed him. And I just, I couldn't believe it. I mean, how could you, after all he's done for you, how could you betray Jesus like that? I couldn't believe what he had done. But to be honest, like, I couldn't believe what I would do either.